Let's do it, man. We're going live. We're going live. We're doing it. Here we go. Here we go. Can I? There we go. Pin that message. Pin it up to the top. Do it. Get it going. <laughs> we have some, some thank yous we have to do. Welcome, Holla Devaldfi, for being a new channel member. Ghost MyLawShiK for being a new channel member. Metallica1916 for being a new channel member. And thank you, AJT Comics Brand, for four months of channel membership. Frog Puppet for ten months of channel membership. Mercury Silius for three months of channel membership. And Matthew Long for two months of channel membership. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. All those just popped up just when I logged back in. We're still playing Code Veronica X. This is not a sponsored stream. Hey, Gen Master B, how's it going? This is just me. No holds barred. <laughs> Free to say whatever I want. Not that I'll say anything untoward. Calabidius, how's it going? Glad to have you here. Thanks for being a channel member. You too. Let's do this. Man, it's been a busy week. <laughs> it has been a busy week. Everything always sounds so weird when I like put my headphones on. I can hear my voice all of a sudden. We gotta, we gotta get off that, man. We don't want to get a copyright strike. Let's load our game. Oh, man. We're nine hours into this bad boy. We're not even halfway through the game. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm going to assume it's a bad thing. Where are we? There's 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's it. I remember dying at the end of the last stream, but I don't quite remember where I was going. Was I going back to the casino? Did I already do that? How do I play the game? <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Tank controls. Let's look at our inventory. That's the map. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, dude. Working from home sounds like... That's like the dream, right? That's the ultimate dream. My wife gets to work from home. She used to get to work from home like every day. And then they told her that she had to come in one day a week. And then, like, a week later, they're like, you have to come in two days a week. And then, like, a week later, they're like, you have to come in three days a week. <laughs> it's like, at that point, like, it doesn't even matter, man. Working from home is the way, Blood Axe. You work from home. Wait a second. Is this where I'm supposed to even be freaking going? Oh, man. I'll never be able to work from home. Oh crap. Yeah, I'm not even in the field. I'm just in like a lab all day, every day. One, two, three. After they take three of their, like, shambling steps towards you, that's... That's the way. Three shambling steps. Did you not hear me? Dummy. Is this even where I'm supposed to be going? I can't even freaking remember what I was doing. Yeah, it's upstairs here. Your IT. Everybody's IT, man. Oh, Callie, you got to do it Friday. We get two weeks home, then one week in the office, and the cycle repeats, man. What's up, Ma KCC? Ma KCC? Is it Ma or just Ma KCC? Or does it matter? Glad to have you here. This is your first time in the stream. He 
these freaking one, two, three, go, go. I do like the music that sounds like it's from the movie Halloween, though. That's nice. Dude, go flipping down. I hear some more shambling around here. And the freaking organs sweet as crap. I turned the volume up a little bit on the game. Just a little. I know, I'm supposed to use the freaking gun here. One, two, three, go. Live it. Live that dream, buddy. I'm hammering the button so freaking hard. <laughs> oh, that's what he said. Okay. Go. Go. No. Oh, I missed. Crap. Just run by him, dude. Just run by him. Don't even bother with that crap. Mike. What's up, buddy? What's up, RetroCart Collector? What's up, Chase Fisher? Am I going to MGC? That's uh, the Midwest Gaming Con. Uh, the answer is no. <laughs> oh my God, Jesus. Get off me. Freaking crap. Jeez, God. I got invited to two cons this week, and I had to turn them both down. I cannot go to any more cons. I um, I have like a one-year-old, about to be a two-year-old. I can't leave my wife that long with watching the kids by herself, especially to go like at a con a thousand miles away. Um, so no, sadly, I'm not. I wish I could go to all of the cons. I really do. That's just not in the cards for me. I am the the only cons I'm going to that are on the books right now are uh I'm going to Game Jam South. I'm a guest there, and then I'm also gonna be going to uh the Southeast Game Exchange. And I'm going to guess there too. Spoilers, they haven't announced that yet, but I'm sure they won't mind me saying it. I'm dead, dude. No, I'm playing it on the PS2. The hard version. That dude is, look at him, he's like, throbbing. <laughs> is there a better way to say that? <laughs> that dude is throbbing. <laughs> Hi, Lars host, how's it going? Oh my lord, hold on, time out. Where is it at? What's my favorite part of Code Veronica so far? Uh, the parts where I don't die repeatedly. This is X. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the donation, whoever that was. I get so many anonymous donations. I wish I could, like, praise you in the chat, but I have to wait till after I get offline. And I get an email from, uh, flipping, uh, PayPal <laughs> telling me, like, all your contact information. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so Game Jam South is in Huntsville, Alabama, and Siege is in, or Southeast Game Exchange is in Greenville, South Carolina. They're both really good cons. Um, the one in Huntsville, Alabama is smaller, or it was smaller, but it's, it's turning into like a two-day event now, so it's gotten a lot bigger. Sadly, I'll miss the first day of that because it's my daughter's birthday. So, I'll head up there after the birthday. But Siege, I'll be there the whole time. 
Retro Cart Collector is going to go with me to Siege, man. I'm going to pick him up in Atlanta, Georgia. Can I, just, can I just climb this ladder right now? Okay, it's healed. This is neat. I like the kind of carnival thing going on. Huntsville's an eight or nine hour drive. How far are you from Siege? Okay. Is this a brooch? Silver dragonfly. All right, we took it. Oh, man, I don't have any of my uh, my guides in the chat today. <laughs> what am I going to do? I want to be lost like the whole flipping time. There's nothing useful. There's something right here. There's a picture of an ant drawn on the wall. It appears that the keyhole is the mouth part. Okay, do we feed him the dragonfly? Okay, we don't feed him the dragonfly. What's the difference between the DC and PS2? Okay, here's what we know, Lars. The PS2 version uh, has less ammo. The enemies are tankier. Uh, enemies do not load until they appear on screen. In the Dreamcast version, if you know where an enemy is, you can shoot them off screen. And this one, you have to like basically run into them and let them hit you. Uh, and then there's some like extra DLC kind of extra chapters or something. All right. Let's look at the map. I'm looking for a green door. I don't see a green door anywhere. <laughs> AJT, what's up, buddy? I gave you a shout-out at the beginning of the video. Lars, you finally got a job? Oh, man, I didn't see that. Congratulations, that's awesome. That's really awesome. Yeah, take the green herb. Possibly a scene from a fairy tale. There's nothing strange about it. Hello, and Vladivostok, how are you doing? Any predictions which will be, remake will be released, Veronica, or 5 or 6? They're not going to remake 5. Just, if they redo 5, it's going to be like a totally different game. They could do 6, but I think Code Veronica's up. This game needs a remake. It's a fantastic game that has some ultra super clunky elements. Okay. Man, all right. Let's look in the telescope. Nothing. Well, I've got the dragonfly, but I don't know what to freaking do with it. Oh, man. You always wanted to play this? It's hard. It's by far the hardest Resident Evil. Well, we're stuck. That's nice. There's nothing in the airport. Private residence. Bridge to the palace, nothing. The training facility. I'm not seeing any green here. I still need the last emblem for the submarine area. But I don't know what to do with that. I don't know what to do with the dragonfly. But I doubt it's in here. Her back hurts all the time. Yeah, I thought you were going with a, a different way with that. <laughs> Six wasn't well received, but I have to say there were some chapters of that I really enjoyed and others that I thought were just the most god-awful piece of garbage, pieces of crap I've ever seen. I mean, they're just disastrous. I don't remember anywhere... To put a freaking uh, dragonfly. I have no recollection of that. William Brock. <laughs> she has cramps. She has to poop. I mean, it kind of looks like that. 
course, attractive women don't poop. We all know this. Don't let don't let science tell you otherwise. The boulder punching. Yeah, no, it's more about like just shooting hundreds of Africans with a machine gun over and over and over again that makes me think it's not going to get uh, picked. Something about that makes me feel like Capcom will do something different. Just call me old-fashioned. <laughs> Uh, I would say if you're going to play this, I would play it probably on the GameCube. Does anybody, anybody out there played this freaking game? Does anybody know where the crap I'm supposed to take the dragonfly? I can't remember anywhere that you're supposed to take the dragonfly. I understand, like, you need a quality in a Resident Evil game. You need to be shooting people of all races and creeds. But to, like, only shoot people from Africa for a whole game, that's... That's a lot. God, freaking guy. Get off me, dude. Just die, dude. Just die. You threw too many controllers, dude. It's it is controller throwing difficult. Like there's less ammo, there's less healing items, there's less save points. The enemies are tougher. It's just like Keith Campbell, my goodness, thank you so much for the super chat. That's your first super chat you've ever done, too. Thank you so much. Heavy Metal 666, what's up, man? Long time no see. To access the control room. You use it to access the control room. Alexander Thompson, my savior, the hero of the day. Can you tell me where the hell the control room is? <laughs> is it like over in the submarine area thing? Dude, sweet dreams to you, Lars. Thank you so much for hanging out at 4 a.m. Good Lord. That's uh, that's bold of you. I appreciate you coming in. You didn't think I'd stream on Easter? Dude, I streamed on Christmas Eve. I streamed on New Year's Eve. <laughs> I hit all the freaking holidays. I don't know how or why, but I always do. But yeah, dude, I'm streaming on Easter. I needed something to like to break up the monotony of this week. Remember last week when I said I had the whole week off? Oh, you're playing Wario World? That's a good one. I, I want to play that really badly too. Um, I had the whole week off and I had these aspirations. I'm like, I'm going to beat freaking 15 games this week. Guess what? Haven't played a single game all week. The last time I played a game... Sorry, I'll take that back. I played Mario Wonder for about an hour with my daughter. Other than that, the last time I played was when the stream was last week. Oh my god, dude. Freaking... Let me the crap out of here, dude. Let me out of here. Oh my god, there's another one down here. There's another one down here. Oh, that's so irritating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, from Oklahoma City happy Eastern Oklahoma City All everything we've done this stream the last 20 minutes we just lost because we died okay so the dragonfly is combined with the four winged objects I don't know where the four wing object is or even what that is. I 
I'm not going to rage quit. I've... It's hard to get me to rage quit a game. Plus, I can't because you guys paid $100 for me to play this game. I'm not going to rage quit on you. That freaking Jesus God, God, it's so irritating. It's so irritating. I've rage quit games before, but I'm enjoying this one. It's really hard. I mean, it's really hard, but I'm not ready to rage quit it yet. One, two, three. All right, here we go. Start shambling, dude. Here we go. One, two, three. You're doing your crap again. One, two, three, four. God. So in the Dreamcast version, like there are going to be these big bander snatches up here. I would be able to like shoot them with the crossbow from off the screen, but they don't load in until they appear. And the second they appear, they smack me in the face. Which is really fun, let me tell you. I love it. I love getting smacked in the face by enemies that you can't attack. Let me just go, dude. People should honestly learn to quit game sooner than they do. <laughs> uh, yeah, my wife's good about that. I will say this, though. Um, we have an arrangement. <laughs> I put the baby to bed uh, on Saturday nights, and she puts the baby to bed on Sunday nights. And it often takes a couple hours to put the baby to bed. So, that's about the time to stream. Alright, here, we're gonna freaking put the gun on, dude. We just gotta, we just gotta equip it. There's just no two ways about it. You just gotta do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. Yeah, he's dead, dead. No, 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 no. What? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. She really has to poop. Yeah. No joke. I need a new word. You haven't said doubt since I hopped on. Need a new word for what? A new word to doubt, or you just want to like learn a new vocabulary word? I can teach you a new vocabulary word. Your earnestness and your eager enthusiasm for using the word doubt could be described by the word alacrity. There you go. This is closed up here. I can't go up here. It's closed. It's sealed. We cannot go. Check. We use the red doodad here. In the lower floor of Alexander's lab, interact with the monitor to be able to grab it.
Alexander's lab. Hmm. What can be found in the middle of the anthill room? Two are found in the fountain area. One in the water near the fountain. The other near the small carousel. But you need to get the power back on. Jesus. What am I doing now in the game? I've I found the little dragonfly part. But then I died. <laughs> so it didn't count. Now I need to combine it with some other stuff to get in some place. So Bubblegum Crisis is helping me out here. Said the stuff I have to combine it with. One can be found in the middle of the Ant Hill room. Two are found in the fountain area. Don't know where either one of those are. One in the water near the fountain. The other near the small carousel that you need to get the power back on. Okay. I don't know how to get the power on. I don't know where Alexander's lab is. I'm out of ammo, dude. Already. Go. Go. God! Freaking... Uh, this game does not give you the resources you need to, like, do anything. <laughs> I don't have a spray or herb, Tony P. It's going to be hard to use one when I don't have one. I know. I can't quit, man. I can't quit. Oh, William Brock, you're playing a drinking game. Hmm. Hey, Dave Clark, how's it going? How's it going? How's it going? All right, hold on, time out. Let's look. We need... What is the Ant Hill Room? All right, Ant Hill Room, code Veronica. I have not been there. Okay. Uh... I feel like there's like a whole area I'm missing. I know it really is. It's very frustrating, but I've done that a million times. Let's see here. Code Veronica. Uh, dragon. Dragonfly. Let's see what it says. Dragonfly object. It's combined... Well, we know about it. Okay, it's fine. Code Veronica. We're, I don't hate to do this. I'm not going to look for this. I'm just going to see what other areas are in the game. The palace. The underwater area. The military training facility. We did all that. The palace again. The private residence. Okay. Go back to the palace. Go to the prison. All right. We did all this crap. Go back to the palace. Okay. The piano scroll. Okay. Private residence. We did that. Go to Alexa's room. Shut off the music. Okay. Music box plate. Okay. All right, hold on, wait, wait. Grab the green herb and the silver dragonfly. Pull the wings off by examining it and stick it in the big ant painting. All right. So I do have to go this way. All right. So I'm just dumb. So we got to do what we've been doing. We just got to play better. Okay. We just got to play better. That's what I get for not paying attention to the object. Thank you, Tony P. I really appreciate it. Run God, what do you do about that crap? 
There's like nothing you can do about it. I was like mid run. It's so simple. Like I was supposed to examine the dragonfly and pick the wings off of it, right? <laughs> Would you ever know? All right, one, two, three, go. Enemies are just too ruthless. That's the problem, dude. Look at this. They're just <laughs> like what? You just can't take them down fast enough. I'm like literally hammering it as fast as I can go. <laughs> All right, fine. Be that way. Turd. It's hard to think in a stream. It, but it's, this game's just hard, man. This game's hard as crap, dude. I'm like shocked at how difficult this game is. This is harder than any Dark Souls game. Like, Bloodborne wasn't this hard. Like, you can't. <laughs> oh, my lord, dude. They need to give you a save point at the top of the hill. Like, there's like five save points in this whole game. <laughs> They'll settle on any word that contains a vowel. You need to drink. All right. You need to drink. I'm trying to think. You just need what you just need big words. You're playing a drinking game. Uh man, I wish I could think of some good ones. Let me tell a story. Maybe some good words will just come out of the ether. Good God. It's so freaking irritating. Uh, so what did I spend my week doing? I had the week off. I was going to play video games. Instead, I spent the whole week cleaning and organizing the freaking garage. Which sucked incredibly. I bought this like... I talked about it a little bit last week. I was going to film a video about redoing my streaming desk. The one I'm sitting at right now. It had too much crap on it. And the solution was just to get like stuff up off the desk, right? I just needed things off the desk. My plan was to mount a shelf above the desk. Well, guess what? Behind the sheetrock up here are aluminum studs. There's no good way to mount a freaking shelf to aluminum studs. The aluminum studs, if you do like a floating shelf, will just bend. It'll just bend the aluminum. So I was like, uh, I'll build some sort of like shadow box on the back of the desk and mount shelves on top of that. It was just too much. But I found this thing online that was basically like a freestanding pegboard made out of metal that they had advertised for like gaming and I was like heck yeah dude sweet that'll be perfect so I pay like 350 bucks for the thing it shows up it actually was a pretty good product but it wasn't wide enough so it sat like in the middle of my streaming desk and not only that I just sit in the middle of the freaking streaming desk it wasn't as wide as the streaming desk and the legs for it like my feet hit them underneath the desk, which I don't, I didn't like that, obviously. So, oh, and also the shelves were like 12 inches deep and it made me feel like I was like looking into a cave while I was sitting at the computer. So it was too hard to repackage. So I just decided to use it as a shelf in the garage, <laughs> which meant I had to reorganize the freaking uh, garage, which was not fun. 
I didn't even get done with it. Like, I don't even have anywhere to put the kids' toys out there. Come here, buddy. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Go! God! Sometimes they get down in, like, one hit, and sometimes they take, like, four hits. There we go. Beautiful. All right, let me catch up on chat. You were... Okay. How drunk do you want to get? <laughs> I was sleeping and rearranging my Robson Crusoe board game and got bored. I don't know what to say, but I just had a cheese stick explode in my mouth. I've been in it and shot in my mouth, piping hot. You mean like a mozzarella stick? Like a deep fried mozzarella stick? Or just like a cold cheese stick? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> do I want to get drunk? Take a drink someone says lol or literally? Take a shot every time I get hit? Yep. Hey, Nostalgia Retro Gamer, glad to have you here. How are things going down in Mexico, right? RE4 is the best game to use your knife in. That's true. Or the word the. Yeah, that's for a drinking game. The word of the. You take cheese sticks out of the deep fire as one explodes, buy into it. Yeah. I'll tell you what the worst thing to microwave if you ever want it to explode in your mouth. And I've had this happen to me two different times. Once while I was playing a drinking game is a hard-boiled egg. <laughs> Don't ever, never, ever, 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 ever deep-fry a hard-boiled, not deep-fry, but uh, microwave a hard-boiled egg. <laughs> All of the vapor and water trapped in the yolk will, like, escape into the white part and basically make a bomb. And then <laughs> when you bite into it, you're just royally screwed, man. All right, here we go. We're going to use a little bit of am ammo. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's dead. He's dead, dead. Okay, we're going to go kill the other guy who's down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are you dead? You're dead, dead. Okay. I hear moaning. Where's the freaking moaning coming from? Do not microwave a hard-boiled egg. And definitely don't do it if it's inside of its freaking shell. <laughs> oh, man. This one went off like a bullet. Dude, it'll hurt, man. I'm telling you. Take the music box plate. Do not put the egg in the microwave. Never do that. There's lots of things you shouldn't microwave. One thing you should microwave, though, is a compact disc. Get, like, a CDR and put it in the microwave. It's like a laser light show. It won't blow up your microwave, either, if you only put it in there for, like... Wait a second. There's a dude in here? Since when were there four guys? I thought there were three. Where are you, dummy? He's dead. Okay. Yeah, it won't blow up your microwave if you just put it in there for a second. <laughs> How many people are watching us right now? We don't even know. 30? Good Lord. When it rains, it pours. Happy Easter, everyone. I played a gig at a country club this morning for Easter Sunday. And normally they put me like... And the, it's like buffet style. Normally they put me in the area where everybody gets their food. It's a big open room with columns. It's very well appointed, as you would imagine a fancy country club would be. But but today, they uh, put extra tables out for plates and desserts and crap, usually where I sit. So they stuck me next to where, like, the greeter is that like takes you to your table in a little hallway and I had to put like my guitar pedal board on top of my amp and then my music stand like to the right so I was playing like straight ahead and looking to the right the whole time to read and I had to play for three and a half hours like that crap and I was like well this is literal hell on earth so I played for three and a half hours 
Didn't they ask me if I could play an additional 15 minutes? <laughs> Just felt like, because some important people needed music while they eat their freaking shrimp and grits or whatever. And I was like, okay, fine, but you're going to have to pay me for the 15 minutes. Like, oh, we'll do that. So I play for the extra 15 minutes. I was like, okay, well, who's going to get paid? And they're like, oh, well, we've already ar ar arranged payment with the lady that hired you. And I was like, okay. So I messaged the lady that hired me. She's like, well, I gave the check to my daughter who's playing piano in the other room. So I went and tracked down the daughter in the other room. I was like, I need to get my check plus the extra 15 minutes. She goes, sorry, I, my mom gave me the check this morning, but I threw it out with my church bulletin when I was at church this morning. So I was like, so I played for three and a half hours with my neck craned to the side and then got stiffed on 15 extra minutes worth of work and then didn't get paid. <laughs> I mean, I know she's good for it, but I was like, oh, man, that's annoying, dude. That was so annoying. Detach the wings, dude. There it is. We love it. You play drums? Yeah, I need to get to a save point. Hey, Mercury Silius, I gave you a shout out. Congratulations, and thank you for being a three-month channel member. Put my PS5 in the microwave. No, thank you. You might scrambled eggs. Uh, they work okay. Microwaving scrambled eggs is alright. They're not too bad. Yeah, and then I go stick the dragon in the spider's mouth. Or the ant. Here we go. We're gonna do it. Progress. Here we go. We've made it further than we've ever made it. Reload my gun. I don't know how to reload. Oh, I have to do it from the menu screen. I can do that. Beautiful. Combine it with this. There we go. Beautiful. Here's the problem, though. Even after we do all this freaking crap up here, I've still got to make it back out of the stupid area. All those bander snatches and crap out there, they're going to get me. There's like 10 of them. Whatever let someone put spiders on my head? Like, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. If I had an ink ribbon, there's an ink ribbon right freaking here. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, it's so sweet. <laughs> really nice gamer is nice. Thank you so, mu so much, Nervia. Nerviana. Sorry. This arm right here, this thing, is like right in front of the chat window. My dream, and I don't know how to do this. Hold on, let me see something real quick. What happens if I join my own stream? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Can I, can I do this? Okay, I am live. Let me join my own stream. I was like, can I look at chat from my phone? Oh my God, that is so freaking small. Holy crap. Okay. What I want is like a tablet. With just... <gasps> you can do it, dude. Holy crap. Look at this. You can just pull the chat up. You just scroll up and it just erases the stream. Holy crap. That's too small. I can't see. My eyes are <laughs> too old for this. <laughs> Maybe you just hold... R1 and press square to reload. I don't know. That will fire your gun unless your ammo is out. So when I had crazy looking spiders, I said, I don't have any fear against spiders. I actually uh, have a, an undergraduate degree in biology and I specialized in arachnology. So I actually know a lot about spiders. Um, I don't have a problem with putting spiders on my head. I mean, I wouldn't do it for free or for fun. But I'd definitely do it like in a challenge if I was on some reality show or something like that. I love this. My answer something for five minutes ago. That's how I do it when I watch you on TV. Really? That's awesome. I'm glad to hear that, Mike. The newspaper clip. 
A 10-year-old girl genius graduated at the top of her class. Her fourth grade class, she graduated at the top of her class. Oh, from a prestigious university. My, my, my. The youngest person I've ever known to graduate from a university was 15. The International Corporation Umbrella Chemical Incorporated offered her the position of head researcher. Jeez. It was that little girl, right? The, the, the sick one. Various gadgets, there's nothing useful. I don't freaking believe you, man. Oh, I see stuff up on top of the... What is a person that collects and studies flies called? A lepidopterist. In the lepidoptery cabinet over here. Butterflies. I said flies. I meant butterflies. What is this? It's a book. Confession letter. Dun, dun, dun. Alexia. <laughs> My sister is a genius and possesses unmatched beauty. She is everything to me. I would overcome any obstacle and be willing to risk my life for her. For Alexia, I must revive the glorious Ashford family which fell during the era of my father, Alexander. Together we will restore our family name. Once that has been achieved, I'll build a palace where only nobles may gather. Mask of the Red Death much? I cannot allow the unwashed to see my dear Alexia to whom my life is devoted to. She re To whom my life is devoted to? You mean to whom my life is devoted? Used whom and then you ended it in a preposition? Nice. She reigns the world as queen with her with I as her servant. Man, you're weird. This is my dream and how sweet it will be. Those accomplishments will be the proof of my love towards Alexia. Ugh. It is purpose of my existence. All of the people are meaningless and they shall soon prostrate themselves before the Alexia and I. You're the servant, man. Why do you want people to prostrate themselves before you? Devoted to my beloved Alexia, Alfred Ashford. What a little pervert man all right we have the air force proof that's all of the proofs all of the proofs have been gathered i missed the green herb down around the carousel though the dude who graduated from the big bang theory he was graduating university he was 10 i haven't watched big bang theory was it sheldon or one of the other ones I don't know very many scientists that actually like Big Bang Theory. I don't know any. <laughs> Do I like Jackass? Like the TV show with Johnny Knoxville and Steve-O and all of them? I'm not going to lie to you guys. I love Jackass. I freaking love Jackass. It's one of my favorite things in this world. <laughs> I love it. I can't get enough of it. Who's Alexia? It's his like weird freaking sister. He's like an old pervert or a young pervert or he was a young pervert. Oh no. Blair Redfield. <gasps> right there. It's Alexia. Sweet Alexia set a timer. A pity I must say goodbye so soon. I am Alexia Ashford. For the pride mm. of the Ashford family. That girl can dodge bullets like nobody's business, man. Wait. What's going on? <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh, Steve. Do they kill each other? A secret door. <gasps> bum, 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 bum. I didn't spoil any don't spoil anything about Alexia. I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Yeah, I can't say too many things to Alexa. I've got an Alexa listening to me right over here. I mean, obviously, this is a secret passage. How could it be anything else? <laughs> hey, dummy. Hey. Hey, guess what? Hey. Hey, idiot. Dummy. Hey. Give me your SMGs. <laughs> give, me, give me your SMGs, please. You need to check this room. Hey, Steve. Steve. Buddy. You okay there? You need a glass of water? You 
You're just kind of like bobbing back and forth. Do you, do you want me? To, do you want me to give you some money, like out of, out of my wallet? <laughs> Her dress is abandoned here. This is fun. Thanks for coming. I better check this room. We're checking the room, dude. There's nothing left to check. What do you What do you want me to do? Grab the golden fleece off of the Oh, Alexia is her brother. He was dressed up as his sister. There's the dress. There's the wig. This must be. Wah! Man, Steve. I know, dude, it's insane. That's the way I act when I see the bags under my eyes when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> there never was an Alexia after all. You mean he thinks he's two people? Oh, I cracked it like ten seconds before they got to it. What's up, Anubis the Red? Glad to have you here. He's trying to blow us up along with the entire facility. Come on, we gotta get to that airport. Right. Just please, God. Let him run like guns a blazing ahead of me. Yeah, Claire can dodge any bullet, and Alexia can't hit the broadside of a barn from point blank range. No doubt about that. So I'm watching the stream. I still have the stream up in front of me. <laughs> it's only about like two seconds behind reality, which is. Pretty nice. Now that this freaking place is going to blow up, does that mean I never have to freaking come back here again? Because I have struggled immensely with this section of the game. Here's where the Bandersnatches kill me. And we have to do all this crap again. Kanisha! Guess what, Kanisha? I made progress without you. I only died four times. <laughs> Oh my god, get the freaking hell out of Dodge. There we go. Yeah, I know. I don't like that Alexia and Alex are the same person. That's very uh, Chinatown of this game. It's okay, Kanisha. We're glad to have you here. Welcome back. How are you? Guess what? You son of a freaking... Get... God. <laughs> I have five minutes. Great. I've booked it pretty hard, man. I can... Save right here. I can save. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna save. And I'm going to grab the other emblems. You mean with Minecraft admin BS? I don't even understand what you're talking about. Why would Minecraft have admins? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even understand that. I'm just gonna, dude. I gotta, I gotta eat this herb so I can move faster. I don't need to go this way. I need to go this way. Let me guess. There's gonna be a bunch of bander snatches and crap out here. You stumbled into a forest, and there's twenty something. By the way, got Max's near base. Took the sap. Oh my god. This sounds like the drama my ten year old tells me about at school. Like, she traded for some, like, slime or, like, some Pokemon cards or some slime. And then this boy, like, threw the slime over the fence. Claire. <laughs> like, the teacher was like, you shouldn't have been standing too close to the fence. So she ended up getting in trouble. 
let's go. No, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. I'm about to do one of the hardest bosses in the game. I don't like to hear that. I don't like to hear that at all. William, take it easy, man. Go have fun with your nephews. You'll be here next week. Happy Easter. Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate that. Some cherry blossom saplings and the 20 year old took them from her because it was close to her base. Oh my god. Just don't even. You'd be mad someone through your slime too. Dude, slime is like a thing. My daughter this last summer was at the YMCA camp and she started like a slime business. We would go to like the Dollar Tree and Five Below and uh, she'd buy all this cheap slime and like repackage it. And take it to work, or not work, but school and sell that crap for like a dollar a piece. She made like $47 one day or something. And then there was a big uh, to-do because somebody was like infringing on her slime cartel. And uh, they banned slimes. Am I supposed to go this way? It's in the room with the bats, which is like this room, right? Bats better freaking be gone, dude. Isn't it? Isn't it that? Is that not it? Hold on, wait. I thought the bat, the thing was back over where he's at. It is. It's back here, man. That's where you put the stuff. Let me over. Okay, fine, dummy. They don't like the noise. That makes sense. You're playing a role and we invited a 14-year-old she doesn't have to deal with anymore. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, the control room. Up here? Am I going the right way? A grown woman is bullying a child. This? Do I go here? K402. I don't have that. Do I go up? I'm going to die, dude. It's definitely been more than five minutes. I can feel like thumping on my controller, like heartbeat. Don't like that. Jesus Christ, you kidding me? It's no problem. Kanisha, where do I go? I'm so confused. I, I have all the emblems, but I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I don't have the controls to do anything. There's supposed to be a green timer. Yeah, I imagine. This is probably because it's Code Veronica X. They don't give you any information about anything. There's need no need to operate it anymore? Okay. I don't have the lever. The timer doesn't start yet, so I don't have to worry. Good. Okay. But where do I freaking go? And what do I do? I mean, like, there he is, dude. Right over there is where I'm supposed to take the emblems. Take the emblems to the plane. Also, did I activate the elevator yet? I don't think I activated it. I can't take it to the plane. It won't let me take them. There's a gate in front of the dude. Check the map. All right, that's a good idea. That's not how you check the map. You check the map by doing this. There are yellow and green doors everywhere. I need to go out and go to the right. That's what I need to do. There's a bunch of zombies out here, right? Yeah, I knew it.
This is what I was supposed to do. This is what I missed. All right. Now I use the emblems. Then the timer starts, right? Yeah, I just like walk right by it. Okay. No. We need to... Uh, dude, this is tense, man. This Use. And then... God. Use. And then... God. <laughs> Every time, dude. This guy's been playing an RPG. I mean, not this week, but... And the inventory is the triangle button. Notice how I had to look down for that. Literally been playing PlayStation games since like the day the PlayStation came out, and I can't remember where the triangle button is. Even though it's the top button that faces up and the triangle points up. The only Riga, I'm liking this game a lot, but it is really hard. It feels like the kind of game that gets better the more you play it. No. Take off unless we raise the bridge. Leave that to me. You stay here and make preparations. Let him do it. He's like immortal and has machine guns. All right. This is the control lever. We know what to do with the control lever. All right. Here we go. Are there any like items in here? Here we go. Hold on. Time out. Is this where I need to put all the crap in the box? I'm just asking you. Is this where I put the crap in the box? Because you've hinted that Chris shows up. Is this where I do it? I'm going to sit here and wait till somebody answers me. Is this where I put all the stuff in the box? It's your least favorite RE game. I'm liking it. I wouldn't say it's my least favorite. I'm liking it a lot. I would give it, right now, it's about like an 8. I have to say I'm getting frustrated with it at times because it is so hard. Is there a save here? I don't know. Let's double check. I don't see a save point anywhere. There is a save point. <laughs> Definitely save. Do I celebrate Easter? Uh... I celebrate Easter like Easter Bunny style. I don't really do the religious thing with Easter as much as I used to growing up these days. Um, but yeah, we do like the Easter Bunny stuff and hide eggs and all those sort of things. I'm not going to deposit them. I'm just, I'm just saving. All right, here we go. It's locked. <laughs> Why is it locked? Is this going to start the timer as soon as I click this crap? It goes downhill. We'll have to wait and see. I have, like I said, I have a 10-year-old and a 2-year-old. I have a lot of patience for bull crap. <laughs> so... Hmm. What? Let me ask you something. All right, hold on. Let's, let me catch up on chat real quick. Ma KCC, do you celebrate Easter? I saved. I'm not soft locked. Okay, I'm not depositing. Yeah, so why is it that a 20 year old woman, friends with a 15 year old boy, she is nice to, but then mistreats a 14 year old girl a bit fishy? I don't know. I'll stay out of that one. <laughs> I don't think any 20-year-old should be moderating of, or hanging out with 15- and 14-year-olds. We paid someone to put out eggs last night. One of my neighbors called the cops. That's funny. That's really funny. I like that a lot. You like the bunny part and the Jesus part? That's cool, man. I like both of those things, too. Hey, Matthew Long. Welcome back. Thank you for resubscribing as a channel member, buddy. I appreciate it. Is Sunday my favorite week because you get to spend it with all of us? I do look forward to this. I do look forward to this. But my favorite part of the week is the second I walk out of work on Friday. Minecraft people are weird. Sounds creepy. 
also see I see you broke the lever. I didn't break the lever. I mean, it is weird. Hold on, let's see. Use. Okay. Um, how do I leave this room? Did somebody tell me how I leave the room? <laughs> Cap. I don't even know what the words you guys are saying mean. <laughs> the box. Here's the box, man. It's just a deposit box. That's what they all are. And put that in there. Put that in there. What? How and why? What? Use. There's no need to use it. What do you want me to do? Game? How am I stuck in here? It says exit here on the wall. Jesus, God. That looked like a shelf. I clicked on that crap like 15 times. Chris Hansen. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like my job a lot, but man, it definitely has its moments where I'm like, I guess every job does. I've been at the same job for like 18 years. I'm I have my moments where I lose my patience, believe me. What do I do? <laughs> I'm a neuroscientist. I do Alzheimer's research. And I'm also a part-time professional guitarist. Your dad worked for 42 years? Good lord, that's a long time, man. That's how long I've been alive. Not even... I haven't even been alive that long. I'm not even 42 yet. I can't imagine that. I feel like when I was a kid, every single teacher had been, like, teaching for 42 years. And now I look at my daughter's teachers, and they're, like, 23. All right. Use this bad boy right here. Yeah, raise it, dude. Freaking do it. Now I got to get back, huh? Oh, God. This is where crap's going to get real bad right here, I bet. Preparing for the Ender Dragon boss, and now we have to transition realms because of bad admin. It's like we're so close to being ready. Oh. What a world. What's down... Wait, hold on. What's down here? There's got to be something good down here, right? I knew it. I knew it. The airport key. Take that crap and then get out of here because all the dudes are going to wake up, right? He's already dead. Uh... What? Okay. Use the lockpick. Yeah, dude. <gasps> A first aid spray. Look at that. Check everything. Thanks for the advice, Kanisha. Is there more stuff in there? There's nothing left. All right. Well. Fascinating. Is there like a door back here? Is there a door there? Okay. Each job can drive you crazy. Yeah, uh, you're being a software engineer. Man. Yeah, you do as an adult. You don't as a kid, though. <laughs> Go up one more. 
The iron bridge is up. The plane can take off. I shouldn't operate this now. Okay. Sweet dummy. Like, what do I do? Go back the other way. Diamond enchanted gear. Farm set up everything. Man, that's a bummer. All right. Calabidia says, my wife is an ex-teacher and she has insight as to why the long-time teachers have quit. It's due to the increasing mistreatment of teachers being expected to work when not on the clock. Yeah, exactly. I know what that is. Dad already been in the same job for 20 years when you were born. Man, that's crazy. The teacher's a bad job. My son's teacher had a 28-year-old teacher and she started flirting with me. You know, <laughs> in one of my pants. Man, that's weird. Yeah. That's strange, but... Do I, do I mess with this? No. Okay. How am I going to get back across? I lifted the bridge, man. There's no way. There's nowhere to go. There's a door to my right that I can now open because I have the stupid key. Here we go. Use it. Yeah, part of it's... I mean, a lot of it's that the kids are so misbehaved and the teachers have no way to... Like, stop them. You can't do anything. I mean, like, I had a, a, a wrestling coach when I was in high school, and two kids got in a fight, and that wrestling coach, like, slammed one of them into a locker, like, hard enough to incapacitate him and put the other one in a headlock. And the principal showed up and was like, thank God you were here to do that. Those two kids could have hurt each other. <laughs> now it's like a, a teacher, like, taps a kid on the back, and they, like, go to jail for assault. All right, we're going to save again here. I don't have an ink ribbon, but that, that's fine. You're a physics teacher, but I have not worked as a teacher a single day of my life. Man, it seems hard. It really does. What was this back here? Grenade rounds? Yeah, take those things. And then we got, what's this? Handgun ammo? Take that. There's a boss here. I should have grenade grabbed the uh, grenade launcher. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. This is definitely a boss fight. We're going to combine... I'm gonna take these grenade rounds, dude. I wanna hold on. I wanna freaking do this. All right, hold on. Time out. There's a boss fight here, right? I'm not losing my mind. I'm definitely gonna blast this boss with a grenade launcher, right? Grab the explosive bolts. <laughs> the explosive bolts. Okay, not the grenades. You prefer explosive bolts over grenades. Put away knife. Okay. Right, we're going to do this. We're going to store the knife. We're going to grab... We're going to put away the grenade launcher. We're going to grab the gunpowder ammo. We're going to grab the gun... This. We're going to... Yes, and explosive bolts. All explosives. Okay. I'm going to put this here. No, we're going to do this. We're putting this here. We're going to put the freaking grenade launcher here. We're going to, we're going to take a second. We're going to, we're going to do some inventory management here. We're going to combine these together. We're going to combine this with this. We're going to combine this with this. We're gonna combine this with this. We're gonna combine this with this. We're gonna combine this with this. All right, now that looks good. Okay. All right, hold on. Time out. I had a teacher one time that both her husband taught at the same school, different class. Obviously, put away the knife. Supposed bolts, all explosives, combiners. We'll do that. Teachers are unsung heroes of terrible horrors. They are, but. They have to be in it. Put away normal gun. Wait, there are other 20 bolts, sir. Gun. Okay. 
I'll take the acid rounds. I'll take the flame rounds. I'll take the gas rounds. I'll take the green herb. I'll combine the green herb with this. Then I'll... I'll need the handgun as well. Crap. I don't want to do that janky crap. How am I going to save the game? I don't have anywhere to put an ink ribbon. All right, here we go. Ink ribbon. We'll just go ahead and save our game right here. Yes. We're going to put it right here. Oh, there's a great question. Hold on, sorry. Am I more of a hip-hop or metal guy? I'm a big metal guy, but I like hip-hop too. I'm a huge metal head. Oh, God, come here. You. Thank you. There we go. Nice. We're going to combine you with you. It won't let me. I don't know why. What else is in here? We need the gun, we said. We could probably leave these regular old arrows in here. They're not going to do us any good. Where's the regular gun, dude? If only there was a faster way to do that. <laughs> There's nothing left. All right, we've got everything. We've got everything. Okay. Mock, what's your favorite metal band? Yeah, the world, uh, it has definitely changed drastically, Blood Axe. Anyone excited about the Eclipse? Holy God's Olympus, he has 20 explosive bolts. He can finesse it without the handgun. You get ready, dude. You get ready. Obviously, violence is in the negative, yep. No power combines with the regular bolts, dude. I know that. It does. Oh, sorry, I didn't make the, uh... I get it. I didn't make the, uh... The bolts, sorry. Combine. Then... Combine this with this, and then we'll go here. We're going to go in here and we're going to unload, dude. Impending dude, you like slam deathcore metal? I was in a technical death metal band. We were technically gent, I guess you would say. But we toured with, like, Between the Buried and Me and Tesseract and Animals as Leaders and, uh... Who else were we with? Uh... I can't remember. On that tour. Bolt Thrower. I like Bolt Thrower. <laughs> I'm sure that Blood Axe would like Bolt Thrower because he's a huge freaking uh, Warhammer fan. I'm just going to use this. I'm going to equip this thing. All right. Is it time, y'all? Kanisha's good, but some Minecraft players, Kanisha, can get a little... Uh, what's the word? Well, what do you what do you want me to do? Get the bolts, just the regular old bolts. Two, okay. Here's the regular old bolt. Here we go. 
You like all metal. Okay, Sabbath is good. Alright, here we go. Push. Um. What? The freaking crap. The load is blocking the door. The elevator can't be used in this situation. Okay. Thanks but for letting me know, dude. Belongs to Dr. Phil. All right, you guys. Nietzsche, he didn't mean anything like that. He's just talking about the people he, in his experience that he's met that played Minecraft. Isn't that what you were saying? I don't think he was referring to all Minecraft players. Just the Minecraft players he has encountered. There we go. There we go. Push it. What do you what do you want me to do, you freaking idiot? <laughs> You're big on console collecting and action figure collecting? Those are cool. You think the two go together? I mean Yeah. Not sure what I'm supposed to do here. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, okay, all right. Cool story, bro. What do I? What do you want me to do? Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, I need you guys here now. All right. We got the we got the five minutes here. Thanks. This is a fun cutscene. Is twenty seconds tick away. I mean, nothing looks better than a girl in epaulets, right? Alexia. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't die, dude. Can I just unload with these freaking explosive rounds? Can I just like bam, 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 and just go? Where do you want me to go? All right, time out. You guys tell me, <laughs> where am I going? Am I going back to the submarine? Do I have to go back to the submarine? I don't think I can, right? We'll look at the map. Hold on. The airport. Always go right, never left. Okay. Okay, well, here he comes. Oh, yeah, baby. Did I just unload on him? What the crap? Okay, well, that doesn't work. Run away. Run away. Was that was that the hard boss? Was that the boss that was real hard?
Hold on, time out. <laughs> use the... Alright, hold on. Use the bow and grenade launcher explosive rounds. Use the B.O.W. These things. The gas rounds. We'll equip this. Here, we'll just go. Whatever. That wasn't the first boss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sweet. Fun. Yeah, dude, turn it. Go. Drink some water. Can't wait, dude. Disastersville. It's okay. I didn't waste that many of them. This is tense, man. This is tense with that timer. <laughs> oh lord, man, that's some good. That's some good controlling right there. Cannibal Corpse is going on a tour with a Monomarth. That'd be fun, dude. I've seen a Monomarth before. I like Viking Metal pretty well. I like Cannibal Corpse too, but I have my limit to how long I can listen to them live. Just till like my ears can't handle it anymore. They're so loud. They're one of the loudest bands I've ever heard by far. Should I save here? <laughs> Just keep going. I'm going to keep going, and this way, if I die, then I can redo it without using those explosive rounds. Good night, Blood Axe, man. Arch Spire Carosa. I don't know them, but I know aborted. I, yeah, James, I, I have to wear earplugs, too. I, I have real bad tinnitus from... All the freaking shows I played. My band was loud. My band was real loud. You would hear see like people wince. Like they'd like like Tesseract would play and then we'd play and they'd be like on us. I'd reload and use the weapons I mentioned. I've got the grenade launcher. I haven't used it, so. Save now the timer's off. Nah, it's fine. I'm gonna try it, and if I die, then we'll do it using the right ammunition. Doing an IMAX, I bet it was. Over. You think that? Claire, I'm sorry. That's what I've heard. I know I caused I've heard a lot of people get soft locked here. They don't have like the ammo to continue. No, it's okay. It was hard for both of us. Well, really hope Me be a classical guitar guy? I play classical guitar, but like I've studied no, jazz and metal and alone. fusion and I've recorded country music, and I've oh, been on movie Steve. soundtracks and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, that's Steve, man. He's awesome. So, Everybody loves him. Where should we go now? I can take you anywhere you want to go, Claire. <laughs> I hear Hawaii is nice this time of year. I thought you were trying to find your brother, you dumb idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. I bet. I'm just glad we made any progress. I feel like I'm getting a little better. Oh, no. He's going to shoot him with a tank. I bet that'd be real easy to do. Shoot a moving airplane with a tank, right? I like how tanks just start up with the button on the outside. What's the end goal of this game? To just escape from the island, I guess, and contact her brother? She has like a freaking uh, jet. What are those Harrier jets? The ones that can just like take off vertically like a helicopter. I knew it. <laughs> Pick up tickets to Pearl Jam record release. That's pretty cool. 
I haven't been in a movie theater in a while. An Osprey, sure. I'm I'm old school. I don't know <laughs> what an Osprey is. I don't know any airplanes from newer than 25 years ago. Hey, what the? The cargo room hatch is open. I'll go back and check it out. Thanks. I've unlocked the cargo room door. Oh crap. Do I save here? Is this where I save? I mean, I might as well. Let me think here. I used all my explosive. Freaking. Uh, bow round. Which is probably not good. No one got the reference. Can you hold on? Wait, say, were it so easy? Hold on, wait. Hold on, what? what? <laughs> wait, wait. I know that reference. Uh, were it so easy that I can't remember what that's from? What is that? Uh, were it so easy that I can't remember what the reference is? Tell me what the reference is, and I'll I'll say the quote. Because I remember the quote. I remember the guy saying it. But I can't think of what it is. It was some, some guy was like writing a movie script. And he had like a bunch of terrible terrible lines in it that he kept quoting. What was that? What was that? Can't remember what it is. All right, midway boss finally. Arbor and Halo 3. Yeah, I don't know that. I haven't played Halo 3 enough. <laughs> I played it on Legendary with like three other people and they blew through it in like two seconds. It's not from Hey You Pikachu. Nightmare Cow, you always say that. It was like... Twer this time machine, a love machine. I can't remember what it was. I can't remember what that was. That's him. It was the boss. Just in his lamer form earlier. No, it's from Community. All right, catapult ready. Well, that didn't work. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Hold on real quick. Community twer this I can't remember what it was. I can't remember that that part. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Just spam like your life depends on it. <laughs> Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Oh, uh, just maybe like this one. All right, alternate reload, bud. What? Push him off the chopper. There's no good dodging or anything offensive in this game. I just gotta like, okay, I just gotta blow him backwards off the, the thing. Shoot him like five times. Go to the switch after. Okay. Right, we'll try it again. At least we don't have far to run back, right? Wait. 
One, two. It doesn't work because he's not on screen. One. <laughs> Dude, this version of the game is so annoying. Okay. Stun him and then go to the switch. What's the most bottom of the barrel game I've ever played? That's a freaking oh uh, math, basic math on the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. You can't spam with the grenade rounds. Do I reload? I mean, I'm not that far back. I can reload the other save. Wish I could figure out how to reload without just resetting. Oh, I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try to just blast him with the grenades. Run around and shoot him like five times. We'll give it a shot. There's a basic math game on the Atari, yeah. And it's like, what's four plus seven? You type in 11, and it's like, incorrect. It's 11. I'm like, sweet. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what's nine divided by three? And you're like, three. And it's like, incorrect. The answer is three. And I'm like, oh my God, what do you want me to do? And it's like, oh, you're not supposed to press the button. You're supposed to press right on the analog or on the joystick. It's dumb. <laughs> Freaking. Her. Get out of here, dummy. One, two. I can see how this would be a spot where some people would quit playing this game. He has infinite poise. He doesn't stun him. Sounds like a skill issue. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's always a skill issue, obviously. Everything in my life is a skill issue. Rewind to my previous save. All right, I'm going to try it one more time. I'm going to do my best playing. If this doesn't work, I'll rewind to the previous save. I can't wait for the terrible part. I had you guys here to support me. You can't. <laughs> you just can't. One. No. You can't even shoot one time without him, like, getting you. I do not have this. <laughs> yeah, this is the PS2 version. Am I planning on, on joining some kind of pharmaceutical companies? I'm not planning on it. You might need two minimum healings for this. Just run. I don't want to use up my first aid spray, man. I want to spam the the flame explosive bolts, man. You just go like bam, 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 bam. All right. We're going to try it again. We're going to hit him a couple times. Then we're going to use our first aid spray. Then we're going to shoot him a few more times. I mean, what else are you going to do? Your first console, yes, for Nintendo Genesis. My dad said, wait, hold on. There's a game you and your mother tried to play it. That's awesome. Been a retro gamer ever since. I got an Atari in like about 1995. And loved it. Played it all the time. Yeah, I mean, I would rather Kenesha. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do that in just a second if I can't pull this off. I want to try to do this. All right, whatever. Turd, give me, give me the first stage spray. Use. Okay, fun. 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 
fun. <laughs> he hits you faster than you can shoot. <laughs> oh, man. All right, retry. No. Shoot from far. I mean, yeah, shoot from far, obviously. But the problem is he hits you before you can run away. Load game. Resident Evil. We're going to try it again, and we're going to not use our explosive ammo. Up. The airport elevator. Here we are here. Okay, so we save, but we still need to, like, do all this crap. All right. We got, we have to do some, we have to do some tinkering around here. You are going back in here. You are coming out here. Then we're going to combine you with you. And we're going to combine you with you. We're going to equip this. I think that's all there is, right? There's nothing left. That's everything. That's everything. All right, we got it. No, we don't want to use this. We want to go... Hold on. We're going to equip this. Tony P, because it's probably better to use the explosive rounds uh, on that boss than use the grenade rounds, because they're too slow. I can just spam the other ones. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I mean, I didn't know that at the time. <laughs> I didn't know that I picked this one because I have component output on my PlayStation 2. <laughs> so I was like, it'll look better for the stream. And it ended up being like dark as crap and extra hard. I will not allow you fools to yeah, there's a chest at the airplane. It's fine. Try the Dreamcast version. I, man, I wish I could. I don't have time. I got so many games I need to play. I wish I could skip these cutscenes too. You can skip the cutscenes. <laughs> Maybe. Can you skip the cutscenes? Can't skip the cutscenes. Ah. Uh. Here he comes. You can skip the cutscenes. He's not even like hitting him. I have to wait for him to stand up. Heck yeah, dude. Holy crap. That works so much better. Yeah, I know where to go. This will be a lot faster this time. I know, like, exactly what to do. We're going to blow through this in no time. This crap is hard. This game is hard. This game's like a... I mean, I play a lot of hard games like shoot 'em ups and stuff. But, like... I feel like this game has some un unfairness to it. Like, it relies on you knowing what to do already. Right? Like, you need to know where all the ammo is. You need to know where to go. Like, if you use the wrong thing at the wrong time, like, you soft lock yourself. That's a different kind of difficulty that I'm not used to. I'm used to just like 
can you tackle this challenge right in front of you? Not like, have you played this game nine times and failed at it nine times and you know exactly how you screwed up? I struggle with this kind of stuff. Have I played Monster Hunter? I have not played any Monster Hunter games ever. Yeah, the analog stick on the Dreamcast controllers. No, it's all right. It, it's a Hall Effect sensor controller. It's, it's decent. It's kind of loose feeling, though, I have to say, compared to a lot of other... Oh, my God, I didn't get the freaking emblems. Oh, wait, I already did this. Already did this. I just, like, got to get on here and go. That was easier than I thought. You defended that Dreamcast holder. It's a fine one. You just completed Princess Peach Surge Goal. Uh, I want to get Princess Peach. I'm kind of like saving it as a birthday present for my daughter. <laughs> really, and she's had her birthday, but uh, a gift for my daughter. And then I can uh, use that as an excuse to get it for myself. <laughs> skipping the cutscenes. Skipping the cutscenes, man. We're up to 42 watchers. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to resave it. I mean, there's no reason not to, right? It's We're in a better position. Do I have the... I don't have any ink cartridges on me. I don't. Yeah, I've got two heals. I've got all my flame rounds. Use. Monster Hunter 1, I'm sure it's like they're all impossible, pretty much. That's what I've heard, that they're just nightmarishly difficult. All right, we're saving right here. All right. All right, Kanisha, this is it. Yeah, the original Princess Peach was on DS. I have that game. I didn't like how she like cried over everything though. I thought thought that was kind of not empowering to women. I'm not gonna play Monster Hunter One. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. All right. So five shots with the explosive rounds, then switch. I'm going to just run in there and do what I think I'm supposed to do, which is spam the freaking fire rounds and then hit the switch. <laughs> well, that's true, but... She didn't seem angry as much as she just seemed like... What? What? <laughs> I'll just take. <laughs> hit switch. Heal after getting hit once, then hit the switch. How many times do I shoot him before <laughs> before hitting the switch? <laughs> when you get stunned for like one second. Okay. Try it again. Let's try it again. We're going to do it. We're going to get it this time. Try five. Okay. One, two, two. Oh my God. I forgot to switch freaking ammo. Equip. Bang. There we go. 
then heal use one two three four five six seven <laughs> that, were, that went great Okay, hold on. 20 explosive arrows, then the B.O.W., then hit the switch. All right. Chris, hello. Happy Easter to you. I'm having an okay day. Thanks so much. I'm glad you're liking the streams. They're fun to do. Even when I get stuck like I am right now. We got to do all 20. I have... 23. No room for error. There's no room for error. There just isn't. Got to run far from him then shoot him. Okay. Well, I assumed that what was happening was that I had to keep him between me and the back hatch of the airplane. All right, then. Use. Okay. But do you, like, wait for him to, a char to charge or something? And dodge him? How do you... One, two, three, four, five. Nope. Okay. All right, you got to run from him. Hmm, that didn't work. I can't dodge him. Yeah, I have another heal. But I feel like if he hits me every single time, that's not going to work. I have to start dodging better. Hmm. The problem is I can't see where he's going to dodge. More lives than a cat. I know, right? Just stand by the door and shoot him. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll just, I'll try to cheese it. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Okay. There's twenty. Then we combine this with the B.O.W. gas rounds. And we blast them one time, right? Okay. And then we hit the switch. Then we hit the switch. Didn't work. <laughs> did not work. It <laughs> did not work at all. Oh, I have to use all three rounds of the BOW gas rounds. Okay, well. I have to shoot him 20 times with explosive arrows and then three times with the B.O.W. gas rounds. All right. Exactly that. This is what I'm talking about with this game. Like, that's very particular. That's very particular. Okay. 
Try tickling them. Hey, crazy gamer, have you been streaming tonight? <laughs> but use the BOW first? What? You said use the explosive rounds first. All right, hold on. Combine this with these, the BOW gas rounds. I'm going to equip this. Have I played Resident Evil 2 on N64? I have not. Somebody give me money and make him quit. <laughs> no way, dude. One, two, three. Check. These, equip. One, two, three. Oh, God. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Get up. I can't even. I can't even. He stun locks me. I can't even hit. I'm sitting here like hitting the start button to try to heal, and I can't even do it. He won't even let me get up. Hit the switch. No, I have to shoot him three times with the BOW grenade launcher, and then shoot him 20 times with the flame arrows before it'll work. When he gets that close, run. Okay. We'll give it another shot. <laughs> we'll go give it another shot. Read what I said about the tyrant. I don't know where that was. This is the first game I ever saw flop you out of finishing it. Kyle J. Thompson. Because I mismanaged my ammo and had none for the final boss. The person at Resident Evil. Yeah. This game is insanely difficult. I cannot believe. Pause the game to look up a guide. Let's see what it says. Let's just go look. The plane fry. Once back on the plane, good long cutscene. The tyrant, come on. It's your responsibility to kill it. Save if you have room or don't want to die and have to do it over. Grab the explosive arrows if you have stored and some health items. If you have less than 20, take another weapon with you. Head through the door. Oh my god, you freaking... They sent me a, a pop-up for Norton Antivirus on IGN's website. Where were we? And I have to scroll back to where I was. Alright, here we go. Head through the door, see the console on the left. When you hear it beep, it's ready to be pushed. It'll catapult a huge crate next turn and try to take out the tyrant. It takes five times of pressing it unless you cause some damage. Stand back from the monster and fire your explosive arrows at him. Try not to let him corner you and don't get too close to him. Because he can push you out. Just do your best to dodge him or hurt him and push the button for the crate whenever it's time. Use around 20 explosive arrows guarantees that you only need to use the crate once after the initial time. So I have to use it immediately, then shoot him 20 times, and then use it in again. That pushed him back. And I can run forward, and I can shoot him 20 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold on, time out. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Run away, dummy. Run away, dummy. Twenty. Hold on. Nope, that was eighteen. Twenty. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, it says you have to use it at least two times or it will not work. All right, well, we got it now. We know what to do now. We know what to do.
I'm better once I know how to like execute something, I do a lot better at it. I'm making progress. We're doing it. By God, we're gonna beat this game eventually, guys. We're gonna beat this game. <laughs> dodge better. Yeah, I know. I need to dodge better. I'll dodge better this time. You just gotta stay away from him. I didn't read a guide. I had my guide in the chat. Kanisha's literally an expert at this. And she's like, something's wrong. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Thanks, dummy. Oh my god. You just like can't you can't stay in that little area with the uh with the switch. Cause he just stun locks you in there. If you get near him, he will clothesline you. It's because you think how far graphics... I was just thinking how good they looked, man. They look basically like a brand new game. <laughs> it's like... I can't tell the difference between this and like... Half a PS5 games. Nightmare Cow. Reading a guide in this game... Does not help you beat the game. It's not going to do... Anything. And I'm not... Ashamed of looking at a guide. If I get stuck for long enough... I tried this crap like 10 times... Without looking at a guide... But... An expert that literally trains people how to stream Resident Evil games, and we were still stuck. This game just requires you to like know exactly what to do all the time. This is the hardest one by far. One, two. What the crap? Oh, God, I forgot to freaking switch to the stupid ass gun. Equip that. Use that. I got two hits in me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Run. Well, knock me out of there if I get too close, it said. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Oh god, turd. Just use the freaking first aid spray. This is gonna get him right here. We got it. Launch it. Knock his ass out of the plant. What the crap? Did I not shoot him twenty times? Even the guide's wrong, man. <laughs> oh. We did it, guys. We beat the game. <laughs> now I can save. Is this where I need to put all the crap in the box? Is this where I put all the stuff in the box? What was wrong? Oh, nothing. Just a giant cockroach that had to be stepped on. You're very nonchalant about that. What's happening? Claire, the autopilot's taking you back to the island. No, not yet. Okay. It's flying in autopilot mode. I knew it. I can't switch over to manual control. My apologies. <laughs> My apologies. Let you escape now. <laughs> Alfred, cross-dressing freak. Tell us how you really feel, Claire. <laughs> 
what if you had like a date come over and this is the music you played like during dinner? <laughs> Would the date think that was romantic or just think you're some sort of like weird freak? Just a giant cockroach. Just a giant cockroach. Dude, here's where you make your move. You're going to get slapped in your face. She's asleep, you pervert. Before you can ask a girl to kiss these days, you have to get a consent form and have it notarized. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't have to date these days. I'd be scared everywhere. I'd like take a girl on a date to a restaurant and be like, will you sign this consent form to say that it's okay for me to order for you? Latitude, 82.17 degrees. I know, dude. They just got canceled. That's the Antarctic. We're over the Antarctic. What? This is the first time he tricks you. Oh, man. I think, I think little dummy, uh, what's his name? Steve is in on it. Pronouns are important, man. You got to make sure everybody feels welcome. You got to make sure everybody feels comfortable. Save the first half in data. Yeah, man. I mean, do it. Save it in a slot, like, way earlier in the game. Right there, number five. Hey, Void, how's it going? It tricks you into thinking you beat it again soon? Great. <laughs> This game's growing on me. I like the story of this one a lot. I like the story of this game. I think it's interesting. It's a little different. Resident Evil can get a little samey with the stories. I like this one. Dude, Steve is... He's insufferable. He's awful, but I love him. I mean... He's like that really fun girl that used to go to all the parties with that she would like pee her pants every time she drank. Everybody knows one of those. We're still alive. It'll take me another 10 hours. Tony, you are hard on me, man. I'm doing my best here. I'm doing my best. Nobody's perfect. Even me. I have my moments where I absolutely will wreck games. Oh, Steve, buddy, here's your chance. But this is not one of them. Everybody has holes in their skills. This one falls right in that hole. <laughs> I'm doing it, though, for you. I'm trying to get better, man. Give me credit for trying. You were bullied? You didn't get to go to parties? Oh, man. You should have hung out with me. I would have taken you to parties. I hope they remake it, too, Don Johnson. Kanisha, this, this game's long. Thank you. I appreciate it, Tony. I feel like there should just be like handgun ammo and just green herbs. Like you just walk into a greenhouse and it's just like 150 green herbs. There are some games I'll play, you'll be shocked at how good I am. And then there are other games, and you're like, this guy's the dumbest person that has ever walked this earth. Yeah, the, Greg, this is my first time ever playing Code Veronica. No! <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to freaking fight him. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, hold on. Let's, what do we got? We got, we got stuff going on here. We can... 
Gen Master B, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That's your first time ever giving a super. Ever on a stream. I'm honored. I don't have the pistol. I forgot to get the pistol. No spoilers from you. Nope, no spoilers. Pretty please. Come on, you and you. Well, hell. All right, let's 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 look at the map. Maybe we can find some ammunition or something. What? There's a door to my right. There's a door down here. Let's see. Let, let me... I don't know why it won't let me do gifted subscriptions. It's supposed to give me 10 free gifted subscriptions every month to give out, and it just, like, doesn't have the option. And I don't know why, man. Oh, God. <gasps> There's some ammunition on the ground, dude. I knew you were going to get up, you dummy. Just, well, I mean, I don't have the knife. Run away. Oh, God, no. <laughs> yeah, oh, dude, there's the map. <laughs> this not like this dummy I just randomly clicked on something and it was just like okay they're only useless books no books are useless no books are useless Life is but a dream, dude. Life is but a dream. Oh, man. Now if we can just find a lockbox for one of our boxes so I can friggin... Oh, useless books. Dude, it's like Candyland in here. Holy crap. Did I hear about the Baltimore... Bidge? I don't even know. You mean bridge? If they do a remake, this gameplay time will be taken down by about 70%. I mean, this game could use a little bit of editing, I think. Also, be careful this second last area. It's also the most dangerous. All right, tumor. Signal increase. Yo, Resident Evil 2 was bridge. No, what happened in the at the Baltimore Bridge? I didn't hear about that at all. The only news I saw today was the... Freaking North Carolina State upsetting uh, Duke in the NCAA tournament. Poor fella, your friend is. <laughs> the last boss is easy in this. I hope, man, they just give me an unlimited rocket launcher. Books are misunderstood. Books are misunderstood. What's down here? You don't remember the last boss, man. This game has tons of action. Dude, I love Resident Evil 4 Remake. I thought that was a great game. Don't do not do this crap. A monster might have been the killer. What gives you that idea? Where am I? Oh my god, I found the save room. I did it. I freaking found the save room. I did it. It was last week some giant cargo ship hit knocked the Francis Scott Key Bridge down. 
I had no idea, man. That's crazy. Like, the Francis Scott Key Bridge? Like, from Star Spangled Banner fame? <laughs> That's kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. Let's put you in there. 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 Let's take our handgun back. Let's take our knife. You always run faster with a knife. Let's go over here. There's some, some ink ribbons here. Tell your makeup thing it's actually easy. Don't tell them the bad parts. Poison tentacles, limited walking space, and she flees around. You have to awkwardly take aim down the sides. No way, dude. Don't don't tell me that crap. Just I want them to just give me a rocket launcher. Like you made it this far. Let's just gonna like let you kick it on into the driveway. Yeah, take the green herb, dude. Take it. Is there another one here? It looked like there were like two of them, but. Only useless books. Only useless, crappy books. Yeah, dude. Use it, man. Use it. It was built in the 70s. My dad was like, I remember when that bridge was first built. Really? Man, that's crazy. Wouldn't you rather be prepared for disappointment rather than be hit with disappointment? No, I'd rather be hit with disappointment. That way you suffer less. You're still going to be disappointed no matter what, but at least you don't have to worry about the disappointment coming. Ooh, Alexander's memo. Let's read it. My father, Edward, discovered the mother virus in cooperation with Lord Spencer, who is also a nobleman. They studied it for the purpose of military use. Eventually, their study took shape. They named a variation of the mother virus the T-virus. Yes, to camouflage their research, they established Umbrella Chemical Incorporated... I majored in biogenetics and have been involved with a top-secret project supporting my father's research. However, my research went through a difficult phase and my father died in the middle of the project. We are now at a major disadvantage against other researchers as there is great competition in the field of T-virus research. Really, other people are doing it? Skeptical. I have disgraced the honorable name of the Ashford family that our great ancestor Veronica established. If nothing is done, Umbrella will be taken over by Spencer... Can't trust anybody named Spencer. <laughs> I actually have two friends named Spencer. I'm just joking. If you're watching Spencer, I don't mean it. I must expedite the project to its fullest without being detected by Spencer. After much thought, I've decided to establish a large-scale advanced research facility. It will be located in the transport terminal that I created by using the abandoned mine in the Antarctic. Within this facility, I'll have a room built. I will, it will be similar to the design of the mansion, the legacy of the late Trevor. Of my mansion, really? I'll be able to cherish my sweet memories there. For security purposes, this confidential project will be given a code name. What would it be called? Code Alexander? Huh? Huh? The name of the beautiful ancestor of the Ash family, Veronica. Oh, God. Couldn't see that coming. Whom I wish to revive so badly. Whoa, he's going to bring back his great-great-grandmother, huh? I'm confident that the result of my research will be as glorious as her name and that the honor will be restored to the Ashford family once again. Nothing brings back honor like a bunch of zombies. I have to say, man. I have to say. We're not going to listen to the phonograph, dude. There's a sweet phonograph there and you're just squandering it. They need to remaster it for sure. Oh, my Lord. Don't remember this part of the game. I beat it like five years ago. Letting him get blindsided is funnier. That's true, too. You're punching out for tonight. CM Funk, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Glad to have you here. Thanks for coming to the stream. We want a remake, not a remaster. I want a remake and a remaster. Just make two of them. <laughs> they remastered it for Xbox 360. Yeah. Pizza or fried chicken for me? Which do I prefer? Pizza or fried chicken? Hmm. Can we have both? They're making this game better be easier in this game and have an easy mode. It needs every game needs to have an easy mode. No one should be like gate kept from beating a game that they bought for because of 
extremely difficult. I mean, I don't know. I say that. No, it should have an easy mode. You think he used his sister to bring back Veronica? The deals are hazy right now. All right, did I miss anything in here? I have the map. The map, the map, the map. It says there's something back here. Yeah, there's something back here. Push that freaking thing. Heck yeah, girl. Go. Push. 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 Yeah, push. Oh, God, no, not the rat. What, what is... What, <laughs> am I supposed to follow the rat? The butler's letter. Oh, man, he knew everything. Sir Alfred, forgive me, as I must tell you of my abrupt departure by leaving this letter. I first served your father, Lord Alexander, and have, and have for so long shared in the joys and sorrows of the Ashford family. Lord Alexander disappeared unexpectedly 15 years ago. Then an accident during an experiment took the life of our dear Alexia. Hmm. That's what happened there. You were forced to become the master of the family at a very young age and nearly lost your sanity from our sorrow of having lost all of your family members at once. There was nothing I could do and I felt powerless. At first I thought I could kill myself to apologize. Man, that's a weird apology. Nothing shows your sorrow and your apology and your sorriness like leaving your dead body for someone to clean up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Here's the worst chore you can ever have. I hope this makes up for all my wrongdoing. <laughs> I didn't realize that it would be an insult to our dear Lord Alexander and Alexia in the other world. Scott Harmon. You filed the butler's letter. There's a switch. Push the switch. Yeah. Okay. Well, we need electricity. How are we going to do that? That rat has some loud feet. Hey, Retro Jake. Yeah, it's the real Resident Evil 3. WCW? What about WCW? You mean like the wrestling? Before you go Opie and Andy or Howard Stern? Okay, hold on, hold on. Pizza or fried chicken? I would rather have fried chicken than pizza. I did hear that noise, I think. WWE or WCW? I'm not a big wrestler. I haven't watched wrestling since I was in high school, but I'm going to go with WCW because... It's not so mainstream. Opie and Andy or Howard Stern. I've never listened to Opie and Andy. Howard Stern I used to like, but now he's kind of cringy. Um, so neither. <laughs> oh, it said thank you for freeing it. It's been free locked in there for like 15 years, man. It was ready to get out. Tony P, take it easy, brother. Sorry you have to get up at 5 a.m. Thanks. Yeah, it came out on the Dreamcast, and it's a lot easier there, Pendernut. PS2 is hard mode. Stern went way woke. That's fine. I don't mind, like, wokenness. I don't really fault people for their beliefs. I try to be friendly to everybody. and I just want everybody to be, like, happy and feel like they're welcome in this world. You don't have to hate somebody if you don't disagree with them. That's what, like, everybody's lost sight of. I have lots of friends, and we do not have similar beliefs. And that's okay. Just as long as you want to make the world a better place, it's all that matters. Thanks. <laughs> Freaking see anything, dude. There's a door here. This is the door, right? What the what is what is what, huh? Dude, I hear you in there, man, knocking around. What's going on? Does this turn on the electricity? A metal shop machine with a diamond cutting edge. I can use this to process metal materials easily. Well, here's a puzzle. What time is it? It's 1026. Okay. There's some bullets. Is that an ink cartridge? Okay. Take the bullets. 
dude, we have like over a hundred bullets. <laughs> it's just like a normal Resident Evil game. I can't see anything else. Just like open, just open, open the door. Can you open the door? Can we click on the door and open the door? Is there any way to open the door? I guess not. There's something cool in there, dude. Look at that. See that, like, shining case? Sweet. I want it. But I don't know how to... <laughs> Agree to disagree does wonders. Yeah, I know, right? It's unfortunately he still hasn't figured it out. So the entire time you're in that facility, you get power in that section for, like, five minutes, and then you leave. Great. This is just what it sounds like when my kids have to get up in the morning. Machine room, sweet. Chris's campaign is lost. Has a lot more bosses, by the way. Oh, God. I hate that. <laughs> this should have been on the Samsung Nuon. You know I have a Nuon. I have a Samsung Nuon. I have one game for it. It's right here. Here's my one Nuon game right there. Ballistic. That's the one that came with it. Bet you weren't expecting that. Bet you weren't expecting that. You don't know how you figured it all out. Dude, open the freaking door, man. What was that noise? I don't want to do that. He does. Does he get different weapons? I don't know if he does or not. I'm supposed to put something here. Process materials. I don't have anything to process, dude. Maybe I can make a key for the door. Just, just break it down, dummy. You are a zombie for for hours. All right, where do I go? Yeah, he's going to, like, jump scare me. And they get me every time, dude. I freaking... I, I don't really jump scare very easily, but, like, freaking survival horror games will do it. Let's see, where am I? Did I ever play Slave Zero on Dreamcast? I didn't. I don't have Slave Zero either. Holy crap, look at this. I didn't even know you could do this. I It shows where items are. <laughs> Look at this. And save points and item boxes. Magnificent. Slave Zero is supposed to be pretty good. I hear it's a little clunky, though. All right. All right, dude. What are we what are we doing here? I guess I could like run around to the other side. No, I can't run around to the other side. There's nothing up over here. Can't go over there. <laughs> yeah. We had no idea. All right, Kanisha. You got to tell me where I'm supposed to go. What am I supposed to be doing? I'm stuck. I literally don't see anything to do. I gotta turn on the power. I don't know how to do it. Now, MDK2 I do have on the Dreamcast. Can I, like, click on this guy? If you have, like, something on you. You mentioned it in your videos I've seen, but it isn't clear if you randomly picking or like your fans. Uh, take everything I've learned and see what I'm capable of. Damn it. I haven't learned anything. Uh, no, I randomly pick every game unless a gold star is spent on it. A gold star was used to... Uh, 
to to make me play this game. So chat picked this game for me to play, and then they paid a hundred dollars to make me play it. <laughs> Seems to operate on electricity. There's no response. Okay. All right. Holy crap! Wait a second here. An indentation in the shape of a halberd. I don't have any emblems left. Do I? Hmm. Well, oh, wait a second here. An indentation in the shape of a halberd. An item. There's going to be an item here somewhere. Probably not in the save room. Probably somewhere else. Yeah, I like Devil May Cry. Let's see here. I used to share a room with my brother as a kid and used to play Resident Evil 3 at night. I was in bed and I just remember the creaky door sounds and Nemesis shouting stars. Still got PTSD. Yeah, I'll do it. Retro Jake, you're talking about uh, what was the freaking game? Uh, Slave Zero? Yeah, probably pretty clunky still, the controls. I was more of an action horror, hack and slash than survival horror. I was too. I'm really into survival horror now. I'm figuring it out. I'm searching for everything. Yeah, the the freaking Dreamcast analog stays kind of weird. I have uh all of the there we go. You dummy, come here. <laughs> oh, sweet squish when I walked over it. I uh, forgot what I was saying. Oh, I have, yeah, the Devil May Cry collection. And uh, I have played Devil May Cry 4 and 5. And the one and only time I ever cut school and college and skipped class was to play Devil May Cry 1. I went to the store and bought it and came back and my roommate started playing it, and he just proceeded to play all the way through the freaking game. I shot his head off, dude. I thought I shot his head off. What the crap? Really? Why are you so strong? Um, So I never finished it. But 1, 2, and 3 I have on the PS3 collection, and they're both in my backlog. Oh, there's another one over there. Nope. Something down here. I can't. I can barely see what I'm doing. It's very dark on my screen. I mean, it is some kind of dark. Where are you, dummy? Oh God! Freaking dog! It. Oh, that's their hat. I thought their head fell off. They're just wearing hard hats. That's way less cool. Where is he? He's shuttling around over here somewhere, right? There he is, buddy. The cutscene got me. Stop. I'm hurt. I'm hurt real bad. Well, might as well use the first stage spray. This is a sorting device. It sorts the loads and sends them to the warehouse. Okay. We saw the thing up there. We gotta get up there. Do we go in here? Or do we go up the stairs? I don't know, man. Probably go up the stairs, right? Because I always miss stuff by... 
The mining room. Okay. Okay, hold on. <laughs> this is the last tank control RE game. No, Resident Evil 4 was tank controls. Hold on, let me scroll up. Sorry, I missed a bunch of chat. I don't know about y'all, but horror games, they give me PTSD. These are the ones worth playing. Yeah, usually. I like easy ones sometimes, too, though. When you play DM DMC, it was salty. It wasn't Resident Evil, and I felt they missed the point of tank controls. Yeah. Did I like the DMC reboot? I thought it was okay. I've mentioned on here before that I thought it was too gross. Ma KCC said he's loved the Dreamcast analog stick in the 2000s. If you're coming from the N64. Yeah, it's way better than the N64. So read that before going back in the hallway. You're probably the only one. It was a 6 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, talking about cutting class to play DMC makes you feel old. Devil May Cry? Dude, that was in 2001. <laughs> I am old. I put a rubber cap on the DC analog stick because your thumb would always slip. Yeah, that's true. I put tape on mine. It was a little cringy, but it was fun. It had a good soundtrack. It did. I got my Dreamcast from Best Buy when they were selling it for $49.99. I got mine on $99.99, the release day. Resident Evil was over the shoulder, but it still had tank controls. It definitely still had tank controls. I know it still had tank controls because Mort's Garage put out a video talking about how Resident Evil 4 was so groundbreaking and it didn't have tank controls and he got 400,000 views and 80% of the comments are like, it does have tank controls. <laughs> it does have tank controls, Kanisha. It does. Resident Evil 4 has tank controls. It's still over the shoulder, but it has tank controls. What do we got here? The gas mask lock releases if a gas leak occurs. Okay. No. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Wait, hold on. I'm dead. Get off me. What the? Stop. Jeez. Are you kidding me? <laughs> 14 shots each. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? What? What? Hey, Matthew Long. <laughs> How is it? Dude, it's so hard. This game is so hard. You're in your 60s. Probably got everyone beat. You might. Resident Evil 5 is not. Resident Evil 5 is like a co-op shooter. Those were popular during the time. Kind of like Gears of War. Sort of like. Army of Two. The new reports of RE4 have updated controls. They do, but the original did not. It had tank controls. Really, it's your favorite because of how hard it is? This is by far the hardest Resident Evil game. It's not even close. What the crap am I supposed to do about those spiders? Kanisha, do the, do the arrows hurt those guys? <laughs> Shoot the freaking thing, dude. Mothra. Yeah, it is kind of like Mothra. I'm going to freaking use a first aid spray. 
Oh, and I have poison. Great. Well, there's a blue herb here I can use. Thanks for that. I remember how that works. How many games do you have in the backlog? Is it like 15,000 or something like that? It's not that bad. It's about 1,300. It's right around 1,300 games in the backlog. Which is a lot of games, but not freaking 15,000. That would be insane. That would be like impossible. One, two, three, go. Go, go, go. God, yeah, there we go. Get him. Chop those legs. Get those legs. Get them. Yeah. Yeah. Feels good. Come here, buddy. Come on. You can do it. One, two, three, go. Go. I missed this last time. There's no power, of course. Of course there's no power. Okay. Well, I guess we just keep plugging along till we figure out how to freaking turn on the power. Where are you, buddy? There you are. Go! No, no! Oh, God, I didn't see him. I wasn't turning the correct direction. It's like that dude took like 25 hits. I mean, there's something awesome there. I actually just bought another bookcase to shelve more games because four bookcases isn't enough. Yeah, man, four bookcases is not enough. Lame. Turd. Yeah, freaking turn. Oh my god, stop. Go, go, go. Oh, my lord. There's still a dude down here? Where is he? There he is. Go, go. It's hard to tell where they are, man. Get that timing down. There he is. No, no, no. Run back over here. What is this? The mining room key. Heck yeah, dude. I'll take that. One, two, three. Go. When they're like horizontally positioned next to me, I can tell where they are. But if they're not, I'm like basically useless. Missiles are lined up here. I wonder what they plan to use them for. Uh, maybe shooting something. What do we got here? The detonator. Well, that was going to be fun. Explosives are set, but the detonator is missing. Let's just let's just use it. The explosive is heat sensitive, huh? Can I like equip a gun? And, can I like equip a gun and shoot it? Oh, wait. Do I need the lighter? Do I need the lighter? <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's so dark. I know it's dark, man. There's nothing I can do about it. The brightness is up as bright as it goes. How many movies do I have in the backlog? Like, 40. Retro Jake, thanks for coming to hang out. I'll see you next week. Do I like the tank controls or the modern controls more? I like the modern controls more. No, I'm not taking a break. I'm still playing. It's just dark. Hey, AVGR Gamer. Happy Easter to you, too. 
All right, use the tank controls because the camera angle is constantly changing. If you didn't, you were spinning in circles when you changed views. That's true. I was right. I know I was right. <laughs> we can start tank controls. No, I'm not taking a break. I'm still running around. It's just really dark. It's just dark. There's nothing I can do about it. This game does not have a uh, brightness setting. It does the old turn up the brightness on your monitor. So the brightness on my monitor is OBS. OBS is my monitor. And I turned up the brightness on it as high as it would go. And here we are. This is still what it looks like. <laughs> this was the best Easter present ever? I'm glad you think so. That's really kind of you to say that. Is this the mining room? Here? Yeah, do it. Get rid of it. There's only like 10 minutes left in the stream, so I'm like, we're just experimenting. <laughs> Yeah, I heard that the Dreamcast version is not nearly as dark, just in general. Okay. Oh, I didn't even realize there was another door there. I had no idea. Wait a second. No! No. Oh, God, freaking stupid. Dude, dogs in Resident Evil games are like the worst. Take the handgun bullets. Do it. There's more of them there, too, I think. There we go. How am I feeling about this, Louis Duffy? Or Louis Duffy? Uh, I'm enjoying it a lot, but it is it is hard as hell. Yeah, Ari, I mean, Resident Evil 4 does have kind of tank controls. You know, I put the, the Dreamcast version. What is the best version of Code Veronica? I think the GameCube version is supposed to be the best. The official term states already 4 has tank controls. It does. I'm heading to bed. Hope everyone has a good night. Thank you so much, Pander Mutt, for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Already 4 being tank, it is tank controls, but it is a little wonkier. It's because you're in third person, so it doesn't, they are tank controls, but it plays differently because you're looking the way you're going, right? You press up to go forward. I stream one day a week, mock. I, I stream on Sundays at 8 o'clock Central Standard Time. That's the only time I have to do it. I agree that I don't necessarily wouldn't have called them tank controls, but they, they are tank controls. What is all this crap down in here? What, what am I doing? Oh my God, this is going to turn the power on. Let me guess, 50 dogs are going to come running out. Can't wait. Sweet. Are the lights going to turn on? Tell me the lights are going to turn on. Nope. A bunch of bander snatches are going to come running out. What the hell's back here? I freaking knew it. I freaking knew it. Hold on. Let's, let's test this theory here. We can... There are no items. Wait, there are items. It's blinking item. What am I missing? Oh my god, you freaking turn. You think it's dark? I will say this right now. What you guys see on the screen is brighter than what I see. 
what you're seeing on the screen right now is brighter than the way it looks on my screen. It says there's an item in here somewhere. I don't know where it could be. Wish I could find it in here. Oh, hold on, wait. Is that blood from the dog over there? Huh. Just one missed item in this game can, like, screw you up, man. You gotta, like, find everything. Yeah, that's just blood from the dog. I guess there's nothing in here. I don't know. Is this the door out? Oh, da -da 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 -da. Mario 1 tank controls. Mario 1 are not, is not tank controls. I agree to disagree. Man, you guys can just continue to argue about uh, Resident Evil 4 having tank controls. It has tank controls. <laughs> it does. They're a little different than what you would consider to be a standard tank control, but they are tank controls. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh my God, look at this. Look at all this space to do activities. What was the purpose of this? <laughs> what was this for? What was the deal with this? There's like nothing up here. There's nothing up here. There's probably gonna be a boss fight in here later. All right, sweet. Thanks for the good times. Do you have a PSVR 2? I do not. I do not. Do I like the Dead e the Evil Dead movies? Yeah, I watched all the Evil Dead movies, except for the newest one, the remake, and I watched the TV show, which is pretty good. I do not have a PSVR 2. I just didn't even bother with it because most of the games aren't physical. I don't really buy digital games. That's fine. We don't have to agree. We can agree to disagree. It's a great game. It doesn't matter what the controls are. There's a green up there and beta build. There's not now. Made that up. <laughs> it might have been true. It might have been true. The crap was I doing? That was the mining room. Here's the room where I like got killed. We can go back in here. I feel like there was a switch in here for something. Wasn't there a switch in here? Did I, like, imagine that? Oh, this is where the detonator was. That I don't know how to blow up. I need, like, some matches or something. I bet if I had the cigarette lighter that I had traded away, I could have lit that on fire. There's probably something awesome in there, like a magnum. You know what has a physical copy? Hey, you Pikachu. Man. Nightmare cow. We're trying to figure out how to trigger a jump scare and how to not get killed by spiders. <laughs> Mort, what's up, buddy? I was just talking about you earlier. How are you doing? Uh, I am interested in Stellar Bur Blade at Retro. I just got to do it. I just got to get it. I just got to get it. Yeah, dude. Push the switch. I just turned on the generator, dummies. <laughs> Did I not just turn on the generator? Happy Easter to you as well, Mort. Happy Easter to you. I still need to finish up your panel video. All right. How does the crossbow do against the spiders? I really feel like I want to uh, go save my game. Like, real bad. Really badly.
Well, that worked. Where are you? Where are you? Ah. That's dumb. Just don't even bother with that junk. <laughs> just, just get out of Dodge, man. You never used it again? Oh, man. All right. Well. Wait, the save room's down here. Tomb Raider did have tank controls, and Tomb Raider's tank controls were harder to deal. Crossbow is zombie only. No, crossbow. The crossbow does not work on the zombies. That's the problem. Where's the... Get off me, dummy. I'm going to die and have to do all this again. Get off. Stop. If only I could see what I was doing. <laughs> Thanks, Mort, for stopping by, man. It's the end of the stream anyway. And we got two minutes left. Get off me. I got to call it. I got to pack it in. It's the end of the vacation. It's time to go back to work. <laughs> but thanks for hanging out, brother. Glad to see you. I hope your family had a happy Easter. Yeah, dude. Use the ink ribbon. Let's do it. Scott A. Thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate that. Sorry to hear about your Easter gig issues. <laughs> Thanks for the fun stream and have a great week. I really appreciate that. Yeah, the, the Easter gig was tiring, but I appreciate it, guys. That leaves us $20 away from playing Silver Surfer after we finish this, of course. Well, guys, that's a perfect segue. For me to thank you so much. I'm pretty sure that was an error. <laughs> that he didn't donate twice. Uh, but thank you so much. Silver Surfer is hard. I bet I'm better at Silver Surfer than I am at this game. I bet I just have a natural ability at Silver Surfer more than I have at this. I bet I can beat Silver Surfer easier than I can beat this game. How many games did you beat over your break? None. My plan was to beat four. I beat zero. I played one hour of Super Mario Wonder with my daughter. The rest of the time I spent organizing and cleaning the garage and practicing guitar for this freaking Easter gig. They gave me like a set list of a bunch of stuff I had to play. I had to learn like 15 songs or something. And it was really annoying, <laughs> and I was not happy about it. Um, so we did that. That ate up a bunch of time. I had another gig on Friday. I had to play happy hour at a different country club. Um, and then I just like hung out with the family and the kids. I just didn't get any done. I, oh, what ate it up was my video that comes out, that came out Saturday or yesterday. It took me like eight or nine hours to edit it. It ate up all of like Monday. Nightmare cow. I can't believe it. Are you serious? Are you serious, man? Well, everybody, we hit the hundred dollars. That means we're going to play Silver Surfer as soon as this is over. My goodness. Nostalgia Retro Gamer, thank you so much. Have a great night. Thanks for hanging out. A jack of all trades. I am a jack of all trades and a master of a few, believe it or not. Well, guys, we hit it. That means we have to decide right now. Nightmare Cow is the guy that donated the $20 just now. This game isn't even half over, but that doesn't mean we can't queue up the next game. Man. Oh, my Lord, guys. Thank you so much. You guys spoil me. I can't even fathom this. 
I'm you guys spoiled me a lot. I don't deserve it. Thank you so much. Um we need to decide what game we're going to play after Silver Surfer. So, in the chat, you guys put some recommendations for games you want to see me play. Because I'm letting you guys pick. You guys are the ones that are donating. Nightmare Cow, you make sure you get the game in there you want to do. And then we'll vote on it. So, some heavy hitters that are in the backlog that I have not played. Uh, Misadventures of Tron Bond is one. We have Silent Hill 3. We've got freaking Kuon. We have Haunting Ground. There's a bunch of them. Lies of P. Lies of P is up there. Nightmare Creatures 2. I don't have Nightmare Creatures 2, though. Soul Reaver I don't have either. Suikoden, I have, I've beaten Suikoden 1, 2, 3. I have 4. We can't do RPGs. They're too long. Um, But there's a lot of games uh, in the backlog. Let's even talk about some newer games. We've got... Oh, uh, Lord. I'm trying to even like see. I can barely see. Lies of P is definitely up there. That's a long one. Uh, inscription, dredge, death loop, death's door, the quarry. Uh, I'm trying to see Proteus, TMNT, Shredder's Revenge, Tormented Souls, Trek to Yomi, Cult of the Lamb. It's kind of like a rogue light though. Um, any of the Castlevania games. Half-Life. I've played all the Half-Life games. God of War, Ragnarok. Um, I can't do Ragnarok because it's part of a video series I'm doing. Robocop would be great. The Order 1866. I've already beaten the Order 1866. Silent Hill 3. Lords of Shadow. I've beaten the first one. I haven't played Lords of Shadow 2. Kuon, I can't do God of War Ragnarok because I'm doing this video that nobody watched of uh, like the random game challenge and God of War Ragnarok is reserved for the next random game challenge. Metal Gear Rising, I could do Metal Gear Rising. What I don't understand is you're halfway through the game on that last part, but I lied. Do you save the first half of the game? Yes or no? Hold on, wait. Is that I said you're halfway through the game on that last part, but I lied to you. Save the first half. So we're past that. Gin Master B, dude, I streamed. Oh, no, I didn't stream Super Metroid. I streamed Metroid Zero. What was it called? Zero Mission? But I just played Metroid, uh, Super Metroid like on this channel. It made like a game of the year list at some point. Soul Blade Edge Master? I don't know that one. It's one complete game. It transitions. Okay, Tekken 8. I've already beaten and platinumed Enslaved Odyssey to the West. I don't have Tekken 8. <laughs> I don't even know if I could do a fighting game. Anyway, there were some options in there I heard. Did Nightmare Cal throw anything in there? Did he say anything? Nightmare Cal said Lies of P. All right. That's right. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start a poll. Next gold star game goal. We're doing Lies of P. We're going to do Kuon. We're going to do Silent Hill 3. All right, you guys, give me something that's not a scary game. Rage? Soul Blazer? Soul Blazer on the Super Nintendo? I don't think I have that. And that's an RPG. Rage? Robocop versus Terminator? I don't have that either. It's like playing a Sherry or Aiden RE2, except you play as Chris for half the game instead of a small section. 
the darkness too. <laughs> can't do Tears of the Kingdom. Postal 4. Can't do Postal 4. I don't have that. Can't do Tears of the Kingdom. I don't own Tears of the Kingdom. Do I own Tears of the Kingdom? I do own Tears of the Kingdom. But we can't do that. Um, We could do the new RoboCop game. I would buy that and play it. I don't have Deadpool either. You guys are picking a bunch of random... I have like every game in the world and you guys just pick the games I don't have. Metal Gear Rising. Yep, there you go. There's one. Metal Gear Rising. All right, here we go. That's the full poll. Raymond 2, I've already beaten. It's a fantastic game. I can't, you can't do like RPGs on here. They're too long and they're too boring. Everybody thinks you want to watch somebody play an RPG. You don't want to watch anybody play an RPG. Here we go. Deadpool and PS3, I'm sure. I wish I had picked it up before it got expensive. Here you guys go. Everybody vote. Here's your chance, ma'am. There's 36 people watching. We've got seven votes. It's rocking along. I can't see what's going. <laughs> it's like too hard to see what's going on. But Silver Surfer's up. There's a bunch of games queued up I have to play. I have to play um, Control. I have to play Silver Surfer. I'm playing friggin' Resident Evil Code Veronica right now, and God of War Ragnarok's reserved. So, 13 votes are in. Keep voting, guys. There's 32 of you watching. Vote away. Speak now or if ever hold your peace. I wouldn't mind playing Deadpool. I haven't really played a ton of superhero games. Lies up, he'll take a long time. That's like a 30 hour long game. Nintendo doesn't like you streaming their new games. Yeah, they don't they don't want me to do Tears of the Kingdom. And Tears of the Kingdom is just like way too long. I'd be streaming because I only stream one day a week, dude. It would take me like a year <laughs> to get through it. It'd be fun to stream. I don't know that anybody watch it. Nobody wants to see like an old boomer like me stream Tears of the Kingdom. That's for 12-year-olds to play. All right, we got 14 votes. Come on, guys. There's more of you out there doing it watching. I know a bunch of people watch on their TV. It must be like hard to vote on your TV. You got to like open up your phone. <laughs> like <laughs> Pull it out. All right, I'm going to give us one more minute. One more minute. And then I'm going to have to go through and edit all the the stuff. But thank you so much, everyone, for the tips. I really appreciate that. You guys are very generous. No, Nintendo doesn't like you streaming any first-party games. Not at all. Not at all. All right. In the poll. Who won? Metal Gear Rising for realsies? And all the other ones were split evenly. So we had like 14 votes. That means one extra person voted for Metal Gear Rising. It was came down to one vote. One more person had voted for something else. All right, man. <laughs> You guys like picking hard games. Every one of these is a really hard game. So Metal Gear Rising, Revengeance. We're going to play it on the PS3. I never beat it. I gave up on it. I got stuck or something. Or I didn't know how to play it. Or I don't know. But I gave up on it.
that was it's on my backlog of games to go back and revisit. Well, you guys can help me with it. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get stuck miserably. But guys, what a great Easter. Thank you so much. You really cheered me up. You made my kind of bad day turn into a much better day. I really appreciate it. Thanks for all the help. Thanks for supporting me through this game. And thank you for all the tips. I'm really overwhelmed by that, guys. It's been a weird month on YouTube for me. Like, I thought I got shadow banned. My views dropped by 90%. There was a time all through, like, basically January, the ha second half of January and all of February, where I was getting, like, a 1,000 subscribers a week. And then it dropped. There were a couple days there this last week where I got, like, Three subscribers one day, like five the next day, zero the next day, like three the next day. I haven't gotten below eight subscribers in like a year, in a day. Like, I always get at least eight subscribers. And then I went like a whole week without getting any. I don't know if it was spring break or Easter or what, but it kind of started getting back to normal this weekend. I was just afraid everybody hated me. <laughs> anyway... Tears of the Kingdom's not a game for kids. It's a game for everybody, but the primary group watching it live and the group streaming it are kids or younger adults, not 41-year-olds like me. Anyway, I hope I'm not shadow banned on YouTube. <laughs> but thank you so much, guys. I really do appreciate it. You guys are wonderful. I'm so glad Like, I have a community that's as awesome as you guys. And I'm taken aback every day by your graciousness and your willingness to just give me a chance. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, man. YouTube doesn't recommend subscriptions. Like, I, I, I thought everybody used YouTube like I do. Like, I go to my subscriptions feed and I watch, like, every video of everything I subscribe to. Just, like, in order. But apparently, like, 99% of people don't do that. They just check what's on their, like, home page. And YouTube recommends me pretty regularly. Most of my views come from like the home page, but it just hasn't been given them to people. So anyway, hopefully it works out. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad, Mock, that you found me. I hope I'm not shut up banned. I want to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of May. So hopefully that works. We should get there. I wish it like advertised you to all the subscribers, but it just doesn't do that anymore. Because a lot of subscribers don't watch videos. That's the thing. Like, I mean, a lot of mine do because I don't get fake subscribers. I don't like pay for subscribers. I don't do shorts to try to get subscribers. I don't like ask people from Instagram to come over here and subscribe. Like, I only want you to subscribe to my channel if you want to watch me do my YouTube stuff. And so, like, that, that's what it's all about. That's why I get more views on my videos typically than people that have like four times more subscribers than me. Because all the people that came here want to watch my videos. <laughs> anyway. Yep, Nightmare Cow Watch is mostly by recommendation. Yeah. Well, Greg, I'm glad you found me like a month ago. A lot of people found me a month ago. I was like coming off that big 230,000 view video I had. There's a shovel and bedrock crafting recipe for a boat that was removed ages ago. Are you talking about Minecraft again? Dude, I would do Ninja Gaiden, but I'm a little scared. I know that's like impossibly difficult. I would have lost you instantly if I gave up on my choices immediately. You mean like when I got stuck in a game and I gave up right away? I don't typically do that. You found me when I was playing Sonic Mania? <laughs> yeah. Ninja God in Black Sigma is supposed to be easier. I think I have that. Do I have that? Just Ninja Guidus Gaiden Sigma. This one? I could give that a shot. No, like, I want to play games. That's what I want to do. Like, I play video games. I love video games. I just want to share that with people. I'm like, come along. I'm going to talk about all the video games and play all these video games. It's not about, like, picking what's trendy. 
obviously, I can just be like, let's do a video about whatever the hell the name of that game is that came out. Dragon's Dogma 2. I love Dragon's Dogma. I, I platinumed Dragon's Dogma 1 twice and then went back and played Dark Arisen. I could just jump on that and get a bunch of views and subscribers, but they don't care about me. They just care about Dragon's Dogma 2. That's the problem. Oh, really? Greg Carmen? <laughs> he saw someone like me who was just trying to play their games randomly and just like gave up. You found me when I was showing new Switch games you'd never even heard of. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. The 360 version of 2 is super hard. Are you talking about Ninja Gaiden? Yeah, I'm sure it's brutal. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me. We're like 18 minutes behind. I have to go to work tomorrow. I have to go back to work tomorrow. Disastersville. Anyway, I'm sure you guys all do too. Yeah, I don't want to just be like stuck on a game. I don't want to be stuck having to do just collections videos or just pickups videos or just hardest games videos. Like I want it to be like a community of people that love collecting games or just like games or like talking about games. That's what's important. I know I could like, like I have an idea for video I can put out and I can get like probably a couple hundred thousand views on it and maybe 1,500 or 2,000 subscribers but not a single one of those subscribers would ever watch any other video that wasn't specifically like that one. And I don't want that. I don't want that. I want all my subscribers to watch all my videos, of course. I have to commit to eating the crap sandwich, but I'm fine doing that. I was doing that on my own for a decade before I ever did YouTube. Yeah, I, I pick up a lot of games nobody's heard of. I can't wait to play Chris. I'm looking forward to playing Chris. You still semi-collect Jim Master B? <laughs> Don't say that, Kanisha. You're going to get the the popo, popo called on you. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, I got to go. Yeah, I'm, that's what I am. There you go, right there. Greg Carmel. I'm a game connoisseur that actually like plays the games. I know so many collectors, and I'm mainly in the collector niche. That's where a lot of my subscribers came from, but a lot of those guys don't ever... They may play, but they don't talk about playing games. Like, Metal Jesus and I are kind of similar, and me and Happy Console Gamer are kind of in the same little genre. Like, we talk about games we pick up, and the coolest games on the system, and all this sort of stuff. But, like, I play my games, and Happy Console Gamer does too, but he mainly just plays, like, RPGs and current stuff, and... You know, Jason, Metal Jesus, he talks about like, you know, these are 10 hidden gems and stuff. And he goes over 10 games really quickly, but I don't know that he's playing that much. I know he plays games. Like I've seen him play games, and but I don't think he's playing a lot of his games. I want to play all my games. All right, Kanisha, one question. What do you got? And Mog, it says, I like to collect for when I can deal, then play later when I can. Yeah, that's what I do. I just wait. Do you have the NES, DS, and GBA versions of the original Zelda game? I have the NES version of the original Zelda game, and I have the GBA version of it, the re-release, the classics one, I believe. But I don't have the DS version of the original Zelda game. But yeah, I have the NES version of it. It's right. Where am I? Right. They, they, okay, down there. That's a complete and box version of the original Zelda right there. It's hard to see. The reason I wanted to do YouTube is because, like, my daughter just watches YouTube all the time and looks up to those people, and I wanted to be one of those people. I don't know if there's a DS version either. I haven't heard of it. Maybe there is. There's a lot of weird DS stuff. But yeah, I've, I've beaten the original Legend of Zelda. I beat it when I was a kid. I beat it when I was in college. I beat it shortly after I got my first job. There was no DS version? Yeah, I don't... I didn't think there was. I wasn't a big collector of the DS. I didn't start collecting handheld stuff really till a few years ago. I would just pick up like what I had. But I'm got, I've gotten more into DS 
not DS, but, uh, well, yeah, DS, but just more handheld stuff. You're testing my authenticity? My authenticity? My authenticity? That's a freaking complete Vectrex set. <laughs> And over here on this wall, over here, I have a complete virtual boy set. I'm as authentic as it comes. It doesn't get any more authentic than me. Anyway, you guys have a great night. Thank you so much once again for everything. The tips were insane. What did we get? 30 35 $40, $45 worth of tips. That can't be right. Is it right? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty-five, forty-five dollars. That's insane. That's insane. Man, thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Have a wonderful night. I'll see you next Sunday. We'll keep playing this. Make some progress. Waitress levels. Yeah. I was a server for a couple of years. I know what it's like. But thank you again, guys. Have a wonderful night. I'm going to stop it right here. I'll keep talking all night.